In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can modify a slideshow that you've already made. So to get to your slideshows, go to the My Slideshows tab and you'll see a list with all of your slideshows. So I have one slideshow, which is a wedding slideshow that I'm going to work on today. So I've selected it and now I'm going to come down here and click on the edit button. As you can see, I have now have my slideshow open down here and I'm in the slideshow maker tab. So within here, I can do several things. I can use the Photos tab and add more photos to my slideshow if I want. For example, I can take this one and drag it down here in between these two slides, and there we go. Uh, you can add more transitions. Just drag them on top of the spaces marked with a T. You can add effects, text, animations, music, and so on. So as you can see in my film strip down here, I've been using a slideshow template with a wedding theme. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this photo because I want to keep the same theme I already have. So to do that, I'm going to go to the end of my slideshow film strip and at the end you can see there's this green templates button at the very end. So I'm going to click on that and now this pop-up is going to appear and I have two options. I can either delete my entire slideshow and replace it with a new uh, theme, or I can insert an extra sequence keeping with my sem same template or I can add a different template. So I'm going to go ahead and use the insert an extra sequence option. Um, and as you can see, you can either add the sequence at the beginning of the slideshow, in between two slides, or at the end of the slideshow. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the at the end of the slideshow option. Um, so now I can choose which uh, template I want. So I'm going to look for the same one I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and let's see where it is. Here we go. So I've been using this one and I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And now I can choose the photos I want to add. So I'm going to go to the wedding photo album and I'm going to add um, these three photos. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and add a little bit more. There we go. And then I'll click on next. And now it's going to add another sequence with my same slideshow template. So there we go. Now if I scroll to the end, as you can see, I have a much longer slideshow and I have the photos that have now been added to the end of my slideshow. So now you know how you can make changes to a slideshow you've already made. Once you're done, make sure to hit the save button and you can always go back and keep working on it whenever you want. Bye.